Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice. Let's get to it. Uh, this feels like synth pop. What happened? I thought I thought you guys recommend rock bands to me all the time. Everybody's been recommending Depeche Mode, and I thought that they were a rock band. This does not sound like rock to me. What? What have you guys done? Okay, back to the beginning. The the hairdos are incredible. The way that they're playing with modalities going between minor and major is so intriguing. It's it's playing with this line of good and bad essentially all the time. It just oh, it makes me so curious about the underlying message of the song. I'm going to go back and pay a little bit more attention to those lyrics and also I just I, I still can't get over the fact that this isn't like heavy rock or heavy metal. It's like almost soothing. Words like violence, break the silence. So words like violence is major and then it drops into minor on breaks the silence. Crazy. He's in a regal robe and crown and then has a, a very non-assumptive lawn chair that folds out. I, <laughs> I love that. I feel like everybody needs to just go sit in the sun and ponder life sometimes. My little world, painful to me, it's right through me, don't you understand? Gosh, that's so cool. The changes in modality. It's like it slithers into my consciousness somehow. It's it like it's like God, it was a niggling when it like kind of just there's something that just kind of gets inside your brain and wiggles around in there. It's the modality switches are incredible. Wow, what an incredible, incredible set of lyrics. 
words are aren't un, they're unnecessary. Words are very unnecessary. I love the way that they're playing with the internal rhythm of those lyrics. Very unnecessary. They can only do harm. Man, there's a certain darkness to this and a certain brightness. Again, that's partly coming from modality shifts. But additionally, his voice is like soothing yet dark. And there's an airiness, a brightness in the sense, but then when you shift it, it all it suddenly sounds like it could be spooky. This song has got so many uh, different undertones to it that I'm just one more time on the verse. Whoa. that the all of the melodic material drops up and we just get this very dry percussive element is suddenly yeah it feels like it's from another time Okay, I'm gonna come back a little bit more. Um, I wanna come back to this part in particular. I'll show you why. I mean, a little bit after this. So there are different attacks of different instruments. Sometimes if you push a keyboard or a key on a keyboard down. A lot of people think that the moment you put that key down, you're gonna have instant bursts of sound. That's what it's like on a piano because there's a hammer that strikes a string, a felt hammer, so it doesn't break the string, right? Felt hammer comes up and strikes a string and then that sound dissipates over time. But when you get into synths, there are sounds that have quick attacks and sounds that have slow attacks and stuff in between. And it's so interesting here to hear the weaving of different sounds. Some of them will swell in later. Some of them happen right at the beginning and just go poof. And you get these incredible, I like the word weaving for it, but it's, um, it's different, like different crests of waves of sound at different times. The voice synth, that like, ah, that you hear at various times, that one's got a pretty quick attack and they're able, it dissipates fairly quickly as well. There's a big one on the bottom, sort of like an underlying one that seems to swell really, really slowly. To check those chords. What are those chords? I have to figure this out. Oh my gosh, I hope this doesn't disturb the audio because this is hooked into my audio stuff. Okay, it might make this entire, entire thing messed up, but. That's why it is. Okay. Let's go back. Okay, so we actually are having 
two minor chords in a row rather than minor major. And then after, after that, we've got a major set of chords. Oh, that's so interesting. <laughs> Whoa. And the second one, so a little music theory nerding here for just a moment. So we actually have a minor chord to start with. So it isn't starting in major, but it sounds like a more rooted kind of major, minor, which is why I mistook it for major the first time and then went like, hmm, maybe not. So it's a minor and then it shifts to another minor chord that has a note in it that you don't expect, which is why it feels more minor is a good way to describe it. And then it resolves to major. And it's partly the particular notes that he's singing. He sings ones that just, yeah, again, are unexpected. And it sort of statically stays there as it's rooted into another major chord. Man, the, the chord progression on this, I am, it's simple yet unexpected. And because of the repetition, I feel like we sink into it, but every now and then it still surprises me. <laughs> oh my word. That, uh, that synth, that totally feels like a torpedo launching kind of synth to me. Definitely has a fast attack, a very, very, uh, very fast attack. And then you hear it sort of like, as the torpedo is going further and further away, it gets distant. <laughs> oh no, sorry. Pew, there we go. <laughs> This is so weirdly chill. It's like chill with a little dark, spooky vibe. I I don't even know what to think of it. I think I like it. I feel like it would be good driving music. It's really unexpected coming from you all. I I thought I was getting into some heavy music and still it, instead it is chill. Oh, that was a nice shift. A lot more optimistic. Yay, Major. Is he going to another spot to gaze on the planet? I wonder what the direction was for this music video. All right, I'm, I'm gonna clearly ponder life as I uh, take my chair and my glorious robe and crown, and I just want you to follow me around the countryside. <laughs> and who all else was watching? Was there like a crowd gathered that was thinking, what is he thinking? What are the deep thoughts of life? I mean, maybe it was just totally silent and he was enjoying that silence. I have to say, I really love the sound of ocean waves. 
I can remember multiple times when singing opera and just feeling like, man, this role is tough. I would take a day trip out to water nearby and the soothing sounds of water, which is not silent, not by any means. I love the way all other noises seem garbled up by water. Such a good line. Ooh, frozen water. So when you have tons of repetition like this, it can be very, very soothing to the psyche. And the psyche actually tends to like things more when it's heard them repeated before. Just automatically familiarity tends to breed uh, much like. But that being said, uh, people can train their brains to like things in a different way as well. Huh. I I wonder if the water in other places was not silent enough for him because when it's frozen, then it tends to actually be quiet. Otherwise, water is always moving. Uh, well, no, that's not always true. Some, there, sometimes there's stagnant water that, no, it's usually moving because mosquitoes are landing on it. So I stick by it. When it's frozen, it's usually a lot more quiet, except for when you have frozen ice on a lake in the middle of winter in central Washington state where I grew up, that ice, when it shifts, gets colder, it can gurgle and like it sounds like it's groaning like some weird blue whale singing. It's very, very strange. But I think that this area might actually be fairly quiet, finally. Huh. Enjoy the silence. What? 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 I just enjoy the silence at the end? <laughs> enjoy the silence. Okay, he's definitely doubled in there. And there's it's interesting how there's a very, very quick, almost tremulous kind of vibrato that enters as well. Enjoy the silence. I don't know if y'all heard that, but my uh, one-year-old just let out a totally happy squeal in the background. So my silence was <laughs> not quite so silence. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that one more time. <laughs> Enjoy the silence. It's actually hard to take five seconds at the end of the song and just concentrate on silence. It makes me want to speak. No. I actually found it hard at the end of this song to pause. And I actually found it hard at the end of the song to not pause the video and give some analysis because there was silence. I thought, oh, I should hit the pause button now and, and talk about something. I thought, no, they just told me to enjoy the silence. And they purposely left some seconds at the end of the music video so that we would just stop our lives for a bit. It can be so tough to hit pause 
and just enjoy silence. Wow. This song is way deeper than I anticipated. And it's also way more chill than I'd anticipated. And I love having my anticipations totally thrown up into the wind, my expectations shattered. If you wanna see some more songs where that happened, check out this playlist over here and may you fall more in love with music every day.